Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of hemorrhagic ovarian cyst. A 17-year-old unmarried female patient came with left lower abdominal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal and transverse sections of the pelvic region. You can see an oval to round anechoic cystic area with internal reticular pattern. This internal reticular pattern suggested to be a case of hemorrhagic cyst. Now if you look carefully, you see the surrounding thickened area which is nothing but the ovarian stroma which indicates it to be of ovarian origin. As it's a superficial structure, we took the linear transducer to see the lesion in a better way. And you can see these are the blood products appearing as reticular pattern within this cystic lesion. If you look at the posterior part, you can see the posterior acoustic enhancement as this is a cystic lesion. These are the surrounding ovarian stroma. Here is the picture, you can see the cyst measures around 3.5 cm in diameter. And the picture of the cyst with internal reticular pattern. If you do transvaginal ultrasound, the picture quality would be better. Here is a picture on Doppler showing no internal or any prominent peripheral flow. We tried to take a 3D picture, make sure this was taken with regular curvilinear transducer. So it was a manual 3D, not like the 3D with the volumetric probe. So we manually swept the probe and this picture appeared. And the one with the high frequency probe and you can see the 3D image of the ovarian hemorrhagic cyst. The internal reticular pattern may get well visualized here. So in summary, a well-defined thin-walled cystic area of less than 5 cm in maximum diameter having internal less like reticular pattern with posterior acoustic enhancement is noted in the left adnexal region with marginal presence of ovarian tissue. Color Doppler shows the absence of flow within the internal reticular pattern. Adjacent surrounding normal ovarian blood flow is seen. So the lesion is an ovarian hemorrhagic cyst as it is more than 3 cm and less than 10 cm lesion with the typical appearance of hemorrhagic cyst, we give the URAG score as 2 and as there is no vascularity, so we give it as a color score of 1. Now the take home message. Using URARs or IOTA descriptors and classification system may help clinician understand the lesion characteristics and manage the patient accordingly. As it is a less than 5 cm typical hemorrhagic cyst, the guideline shows no need of further management. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to visit imagingstudy.com regularly because we are uploading lots of cases in recent days. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.